Hello. Welcome back. We haven't filmed anything this trip, it seems like. It's officially day... Eight? I don't know. Eight or nine. Ish. Some, something like that. Somewhere in there. Week and a half. Yeah, and a half. I am going home tomorrow. And it is 5.48 p.m. We're going to go to a park, see what we can see, get a little bit of sunshine. Right now my neck is cooking just being right here. Oh, don't make this awkward for us. That's a random place for a Buffalo yeah, Wild Wings. <laughs> in the middle of a field. There's <laughs> nothing else near it. That's super funny. <laughs> and it's not near an exit either. Because Leos are the best. Yeah, I have no idea what this is. It's like a runoff. But then it would block the path. And that's a Mercadurk I wouldn't want to walk in. So maybe people just don't walk on it when it's Mercadurk. Maybe. So, question is, how many snakes do you think are down there? Oh, for sure. It's kind of spooky. This equipment starts automatically. Oh, this poor white one. Yeah. Okay, these ducks are a little too brave. Purple head. That hurt me. You're a bully. I wonder if somebody has a nest in there. They're all running in there. <gasps> Babies! Where's your mother? Oh my god. Okay, we're back. Yep. And it's dark now. Well, getting dark, the sun's already gone down. Yeah. Um, we didn't film anything because we got talking to um, an older gentleman. Yeah. Older guy that was, he was sitting on the bench with his <clears throat> dog and so he saw us looking at the birds and so he was- The ducks. The ducks, yeah. The so baby he, ducks. The baby ducks. And so we started talking to him and ended up talking to him for- Probably- I'd say At least an hour. Hour and a half. Hour and a half. A long, t a while. Yeah. It's but 8.15 now. It was nice talking to him yeah, though. He's a nice he was guy. really nice guy, yeah. And he said that he has grandkids who he made it sound like his grandkids were maybe a little bit younger than us. Mm hmm Old enough to drink though, because he said something about them drinking. Well he said that he was drinking at sixteen. Or at that, fourteen. He said he was true. drinking at fourteen, so he he gets that these kids are drinking, but they don't want to be around him because they just want to party and hang out with their friends or whatever. And grandpa's not cool. So I assume that they're probably 16 to 20. Yeah, something. In, Maybe 21. Yeah, like either late high school or early college mm. age, that kind of thing. He said that no one wants to hang around him, no one talks to him, and with COVID it's made it extra hard because everyone's keeping to their own and his own kids are like busy working and they live out of town and they're not visiting because the whole COVID thing, they didn't want anything bad to happen. And he said that he lost his dog and he lost his wife and he was lonely and he was... Uh, he was nice to talk to. He was, he was a nice guy. He had a lot of stories. He's, we met his dog that he has now that he rescued. Not, it sounds like not too long ago. Mm -hmm. Hasn't had her too long. He said in June it'll be a year. He definitely he enjoyed having somebody to talk to. and we're, I'm happy to chat with him for a bit and mm -hmm. whatnot. Jerry. Jerry, if your grandfather's name is Jerry and you live somewhere near Oklahoma City and he lost his wife... Yeah. And has a, a little, like, small to medium size red colored dog named Penny. Then go you, visit your grandpa. You know who you are. You need uh -huh. to talk to him. He's the sweetest guy. Yeah, he's nice. He had some good stories. <laughs> and he's, I don't know, it just, like, breaks my heart whenever older people are like, well, younger kids, these, this new generation wants nothing to do with older people, and I just want someone to talk to, and they just have to have their face deep in a phone, and I'm just like, just talk to your grandparents. Yeah. How hard is it? Like it's not I, like it's not like you're talking to them every day, all day. Like, take time, call them. Come talk to the to park them. and walk his dog with him. Yeah, get some fresh air, do take a lap. An hour out of your week. Yeah, <laughs> I need might not even be every week. Could be every other week. Something. Yeah. Literally anything. Yeah. Make him dinner. Take him out to dinner. Yeah. I don't know. That's just my opinion. If you're out there and you're watching this and your grandparents are still around, call them. Yeah. Go to their house. Go visit them. Go walk their dog with them. If they like to cook or you like to cook, whatever. Yeah. 
put forth an effort. Yeah. Because not everyone has their grandparents around anymore. That's right. I don't. When he was talking about his wife, he was like, I just lost my wife and, like, kind of lost a reason to anything. And he was like, she was my diamond. Yeah, it was cute. How sweet is that? I can't handle it. Yeah. He's too cute. He's very cute. And his dog's too cute. Yeah. She was a sweet little girl. Started talking about the little ducks in the pond and stuff got out of hand. Yeah, spiraled from there. <laughs> it just breaks my heart because he, he was just like, he was, he literally was saying thank you for talking to him. Yeah, he said you don't find people like us anymore and you glad that we talked to him. I was like, you should be able to talk to people. Yeah, it shouldn't it's be so sad. a rarity. Mm-mm. But, like, it also makes me sad because, like, obviously we're going to remember him. Yeah. And we're documenting it. But, like, I just picture that he's going to go home and talk to his kids. Like, call his son and be like, these two nice little kids at the park came up and talked to me for, like, an hour. If he literally doesn't get to talk to anyone ever. That's right. so sad. Cute little golden retriever. Yeah, they're a little chonky. Yeah, now that they've passed, I can... <laughs> Got you. <laughs> they're cute. We're gonna go figure out something for food. I don't know. Stay up all night since it's my last night. You're like, whatever, you keep me up every night. <laughs> yeah. What do you mean? You can sleep not, in once I'm gone. That's not normal or anything. Sorry. <laughs> you know what? You should be calling me your diamond. Okay. I'll start calling. No, what's, uh, what's August birthstone? Peridot. I'll start calling you my peridot. My peridot. My peridot. That was my dog's name. I know. See you guys later. See Bye. You. Okay, so this is the view from the front door. The beautiful front door here. Don't mind our trash that we haven't put out yet. So first thing we have the kitchen here. We have a fridge, microwave, dishwasher, sink. And we thought this one was gonna have like a cooktop type thing. We knew it wouldn't have an oven, but it turns out that you have to um, go down to the front desk and ask for the cooktops and skillets and such. Again, from the front door, we have a view of the dining area here on the tile with the kitchen. And then we have the living area and office space. And then just to the left here, we have the bathroom. And then that's the bedroom too. Over here, it opens up into super high ceilings. So then this desk here is actually underneath of this when you first check in. We just pulled it out so that we could have separate workspaces. And then I just pulled a chair from over here. So this has been my workspace. That's been Travis's workspace. So then we have a big desk with computer chair, TV, I believe it's a 40 inch maybe. Big windows with electric blinds. And then we have a two person couch that pulls out to be a bed. Lots of floor space here. And then going over here into the bedroom, we have a king bed with a giant room, which again has the super high ceilings. This is the larger TV. This one is 55 inches. And then we have a little wardrobe area over here. Second entrance to the bathroom here. And we have a roll-in shower because this is technically an uh, accessibility room. It's the only room that they had left. And um, Travis is actually going to be moving rooms after I'm gone here because they do have someone who needs this room for I, I think for accessibility reasons, so he's going to be moving into a standard room. But for this one, it is a roll-in with, so it has the main shower head and then this, um, it's like adjustable up and down the pole and then you can take it off and then a bench and everything like that. The only thing is that it floods straight out and tries to go over onto the carpet, so we kind of set up a little... And then again, we're at this door that goes back out to the main room. And I think that's everything. Did I miss anything? I don't think so. I mean, the one thing I would say, this room does connect to another room. 
Yes. But, so we hear through it every once in a while, but not too bad. A little bit, but it does have the deadbolt and this little guy too, so it's fine. Will you film the other room so we get perspective of both? Mm -hmm. Overall, I think we like the room. Obviously, it's a larger room because it's an accessibility room, um, which we normally wouldn't book. But the literally the town that his he's actually working in is south of here and we could not we tried and tried and tried could not find a single hotel room that was open because of how big the storm was so we just booked this room and let them know like if you need to move us not a problem at all so we've been here for a little over a week maybe a week and a half and they're going to be moving him tomorrow so we're right here sorry <laughs> We're right here in 104, and I believe like these are regular size rooms, or these are like regular king rooms. I'm not positive. This room is significantly larger than what the other rooms are going to be. Like, I feel like this is twice as big as what your next room is going to be. So, update, update the TV, this TV. It's 42 inches. I said 40, so it's actually 42. Yeah, real close. But I did confirm that that one is 55, so everyone relax. And then as far as square footage, it's about, was it 680? Yeah, okay. roughly 680 square feet. Yeah, it's not exact. We did some rounding just to make the math easier. But. And we don't know the exact like materials that they use and if the thickness of this wall is the same as that wall, it's the same as this wall, it's the same as that wall, it's the same as that wall, so it's like, Rough. Rough idea. Rough idea. But I mean, it can't be more than a, I'd say give or take 20 square feet. Right. At most, right? Yeah, I would agree. Yeah, so this is actually smaller than the second one that we stayed in in Boise. But I yeah, think. That makes sense because of the extra room. Oh, that's true. But I think the high ceilings and like just how open and even though the windows don't open, it still feels brighter and airier. I like the tile floor in this one. And I like that there's so much of it. Like as soon as we got here and we went into the bathroom, I was like, oh my God, this would be perfect for a litter box, of yep. course, but this is a fly, so we can't bring beans. Right. The only other annoying thing is one of the lights in the kitchen like mm. flickers like crazy and the fire alarms went off a couple times mm -hmm. and they didn't address it at all. Yeah, they didn't say anything. And the fact that I have to change rooms. If someone, someone needs, needs this, it, yeah. then I get it, absolutely. It's just configuring and sorting out how to change rooms is it would be easier if i was here yeah because then true. i could just roll the bags up to the next room but he'll be out working and so they want him to like completely check out and completely check back in so yeah. that they can clean and stuff whereas i would be able to just take the bags so there's a couple things in the fridge that he's gonna have to throw out but yeah. um but yeah i think that's it yeah for this so. hotel tour i would say i mean probably not the best hotel that we've ever stayed in but it's so nice. It's fine, yeah, and it's decent location uh, as far as getting the stuff. Like, it's pretty easy shot on the freeway and stuff. I probably wouldn't walk around outside by myself at night. Yeah, it's not necessarily it's not a, in a nice, nice area. Yeah. yeah. But accessibility to the freeway yeah. is good. True. For you. For me, yeah. <laughs> good for you. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> uh, it's close to the airport. 15, the 15 minutes away to, from the airport. Yeah, super close to the airport. The only other thing that I don't really love is that the which I mean I was telling them earlier mm -hmm. that like the whole booking issue because the storm the only room available is the ground floor unit which is literally when we we're checking in on the app it lets you choose around and it's like we're so sorry it's not normally like this yeah <laughs> normally you can pick like what floor you want and everything but the only one is the first floor which freaks me the fuck out because bugs for one and I like to be able to leave the windows open and let light in and like wake up to the natural light and fresh I just, air. yeah, fresh air if the windows opened, but the upstairs ones don't even look like they open. Yeah, I don't think so. Like, I just don't like that anyone can walk by and see in because we've had a couple lookers. Yeah, like when we have it open, people are like, oh, huh. and like, we can see you. Like they stop <laughs> and just look in and I look back at them and I'm like, hello? Yeah. So, I mean, at least the windows can't open in That's terms true. of breaking in, but That's like, I don't know, just don't, don't love that, yeah. but I mean, it's fine. It's literally a free hotel and we got to experience a town that we've never been to before, That's so. Right. Exactly. But they're, they're doing construction, which is why I think the fire alarms went off. I think so too. There's like two rooms on the end, all four floors, and they're like redoing insulation and like have the cupboards pulled off the walls and everything. So I'm thinking they either had 
a flood like from a shower or a tub or a toilet or something something or storm damage got like something the roof got damaged and water had been leaking in no, it, it be. seems like water damage yeah though, so. it seems like water damage the way they're doing it so. so they already have a hard time of having at least eight less rooms than they usually have yeah and then on top of that the storm and all these people coming in there's like so many other people in the parking lot who clearly do the same job mm -hmm. as Travis and he's talked to them Yeah, and they're from all the different companies and everything like that. So It's clearly a problem. Yeah, well <laughs> We can be done. Yeah, His my, arm is my dying. My arm is dying. <laughs> yeah, slowly shrinking I think <laughs> So the angle changed over time. My bad. Alright, well, we need to get some food in this one mm -hmm. and then head to the airport. Yep, that's true. Run out of time. <laughs>